Hi, I'm David Kloniger, South Carolina beat writer for the Charleston Post and Courier, wrapping up South Carolina's 24-10 loss to second-ranked Georgia. That's second-ranked in the AP Top 25, but obviously number one ranked in the college football playoff. Um, Gamecocks played hard. They uh, just could not stop that run effectively. They missed some tackles as the game went on. Could not get off the field on third down. That's been a problem all year. Georgia ended up picking up 8-13. and 13. USC, as usual, did not quit. They had some big plays. They kept in the game. They weren't out of it until the very final play when Jake Bentley threw a desperation pass and it was intercepted. A couple things you look back on, uh, you know, again, USC comes up empty on its first offensive drive. After going all the way down the field, a Parker White missed another field goal, and you just have to keep rolling somebody out there if you're going to do it. I mean, you can't just be as predictable to say you're going to go for it on fourth down every time you're in that situation. But also, there were a couple of plays right before the second quarter that Will Muschamp did explain. On not going for it on fourth and five with about five minutes to go, he said there was no need to panic there. They, it was that only down one score. They really thought that they could uh, get back in the game at that point. They ended up getting the ball back, and that brought up another play. Let a lot of time run off before the punt without calling timeout. I actually asked him why, and he did have a very good explanation. We wanted to run the, the clock down because they had the play dialed up that they were going to run. That play was a t uh, passed from Jake Bentley to Brian Edwards. Brian Edwards is wide open. If he catches it, it's a touchdown. But Bentley's arm gets hit, the ball gets intercepted, and USC goes into the half down 14-7. to So nobody's happy with the loss. Uh, they are encouraged by uh, how hard USC played, but again, they didn't come here to play hard. They came here to win. USC still in very good position. They are not going to win the East. Georgia clinched it tonight due to Kentucky also losing tonight. Uh, but USC is 6-3, and 4-3, and three, and they host a really, really bad Florida team next week. If you look at that and think that game's at home, it should be a seventh win. But, of course, they're not going to look ahead to that. So, uh, you know, a couple of uh, decisions that maybe were curious at the time. They ended up being explained pretty well. Uh, USC just didn't have enough offense to get it done now. So you hope that they can come back and really get that taken care of next week against Florida. They're in still a very good position to get to a very nice bowl game. They just have to find a way to score some more points and get off the field on third down. Check us out on postandcourier.com for all the post game wrap-up. I'm David Kloniger, and we'll see you next week.